mum Julie. Hello, I'm Lucy's mum and welcome to the next episode of Awkward British Problems. Based on the book Very British Problems by Rob Temple and his Twitter account at So Very British. And this week, Lucy, we are talking about going to the restaurant. Yay! Yay my favourite! Nice! Can I say how lovely you're looking today? Oh, thanks, yeah. Very pretty dress. I got a bit dolled up for this at the restaurant episode. Do you want to kick it off, Lucy? Oh, go on then. The first one... <laughs> the first one is not wanting to be seen to be choosing the best seat at the table. Oh, So yes. doing this kind of awkward little dance around, you know, trying to find the seat, pretending you don't care, even though you do. Yeah, because everyone wants to sit in the seat with the best view. Mm. My husband, who's American, I think he's got some cowboy in him or some gangster because he always has to sit at the seat with his back to the wall facing the entrance. Yeah, I wonder if that's a very manly thing. Uh, I think it maybe is, you know, sort of protective yeah. thing. You know, so he's Never ready. turn your back to the door of the cave. Kind no, of. <laughs> no, exactly. Or, the, or in the saloon, you know, yeah, no yeah. one's going to come in. Yeah, but that little dance for us Brits can go on for quite a while, doesn't it? It does. No, 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 you have that seat. No, it's fine. And then because you end up sitting next to the the one person you don't want to sit yeah, next to. Yeah, that's the other thing you're trying to avoid, isn't it? Yeah. Not sitting next to that person. I know. And you always end up next to them. I know, that's so true. So what's the next one, Mum? Being sure to say goodness one and then spell. <laughs> the next one is... <laughs> the next one is... Being sure to say goodness when an unexpectedly large portion of food is placed in front of you. Mm, goodness. I know. With that little sparkle in your eyes. Yeah. Like, yes. But you'll always say that, that phrase. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a great opportunity to not seem greedy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, goodness. 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 Yeah. You're kind of pleased. You are. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. The next one is when someone asks you if they can try a bit of your food, you have to say, oh, Go on, I'll never finish all of this. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, exactly that phrase. Yeah, that's right. Even if you could finish it all. I mean, obviously you could. Yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> yeah, but you don't want anyone to know that. No, you know, you want to feel thankful that they're trying your food. Yeah, I'm so generous. Yeah. Take my whole plate. I must admit, Lucy, I don't like sharing my sticky toffee pudding. No, no, never ask oh, for a piece of mum's sticky toffee no, pudding. No, no, because, you know, I just can't wait to get to the UK and have sticky toffee pudding and custard. Mm. Mm. So the next one, Lucy, is um, feeling traumatised when somebody you're with complains about their food in a very loud voice in a very rude way and sends it back to the kitchen. Oh god, that is the worst. Oh, you no, just feel please. yourself like dying. Oh, dying. <laughs> it, it just ruins the atmosphere for me. If there's something terrible, obviously yeah. if it's un if it's not cooked yeah. properly, if they just say it for you know not very good reason, oh take that away. I just couldn't possibly eat yeah. that. Oh. Oh, there's no need for it. Is no, there? there isn't. No. But I think this is something that Americans don't struggle with at all. No. I've never been with an American who would think twice about sending back their food. I know. I wrong. know. It's just we just hate a scene, don't we? we I think that's, that's it. Yeah. 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 That's what it is. You know, it's not the waiter's fault, but they get full brunt of it. And you can imagine them going back in the kitchen and the chef being a bit angry, you know. <laughs> or doing something to the food. I always think if they're just going to warm it up, they've spat in it. Yeah. They've all spat in it and it's sort of hidden in the gravy yeah. or something. Oh. Know? Or in the soup and you don't know. I'm sure that has happened. Yeah, yeah. The next one is feeling compelled to be overly friendly to a waiter who has just been treated rudely by a neighbouring table. Oh, you feel for them, don't you? You do. And it's in, in a loud voice in front of the whole restaurant. Yeah. I Actually, that person doing that and is thinking, oh, I'm looking so clever. Look at me, look at mm. me. Tosser. <laughs> you... Yes, Layla, that is quite Layla true. Layla is very, She very doesn't like that at all. That. No, no. Do not do it. You're not looking clever. There's nothing funny about it. You're the one who's looking stupid, but you do feel so sorry for that poor yeah. waiter. Yeah, mm. and that's right. Then you treat them like your best friend, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you do. Hey, hey, come have a yeah. drink with us. Yeah, so yeah. smiley. Yeah, and you give a huge tip, at least a pound. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing is, you're sitting there, 
and you're debating whether to tell somebody in front of you that they've got something on their face or spinach in their teeth. Yeah. You know, unless you know them really well, if somebody in the family, you'll certainly say that. Oh, yeah. Joke about it. But if you're kind of like with work friends or something mm. like that, and you know everyone's seen and everyone's thinking, should I say, but no one really wants yeah. to embarrass them. It's awkward, you know. I think probably just a quiet, you know, but just to announce it to the table is a bit. Yeah. yeah. There's certainly people who would do that, though, isn't there? Oh, who would yeah. announce it loudly. Oh, yeah. you've got something in your teeth. Yeah, right? yeah. And you go, oh, no. No, no. If you do see that, it's best to do it early and just a quiet whisper. It is. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, I wouldn't like to have that, you know, spinach in the teeth and then not know about no, it. No, you'd rather someone said yeah, than you. Yeah, yeah. It's true. So have you had any really embarrassing meals out, Lucy, for one reason or another? Or when you were <laughs> serving? This one time when um, the restaurant had closed and had been refurbished and reopened with a whole new menu and, mm -hmm. you know, technology with the iPads instead of the notebooks and stuff like that. So we were all getting used to the new system and, oh my gosh, this one poor table, I ended up serving them the wrong plate three times oh because my. of some miscommunication that had happened somewhere. Could have been my fault, oh. could have been with the kitchen, I honestly don't know. Yeah. Oh, you just feel dreadful. And mm. it was like this really sweet, like elderly couple. Oh. I don't know if they were there. It seemed like a special occasion. They oh were all dolled no. up. I know. Did I you let them off? Did you give them some discount at the end? Well, I sent the manager over. That's the thing to do, mm. isn't it? You yes. send the manager over because, yeah. you know, Oh, I would hate to be uh, to serve at tables. I would be so bad at it. Never again. I would no. have to be so desperate. I mean, like, hats off to those of you who mm. do it and do it well. There's some great servers out there, and oh, you're yeah. all seriously underpaid. When the, I, the iPad thing got trendy, and they'd come to the table with the iPad, I think you did that in your restaurant. Oh, it's awful. Why? There's no need for it. No. It's showing the, off. Yeah, it's showing off. And the, the poor person is trying to battle this with this iPad, and the, probably the... Uh, software is not going right and mm. they spend the whole time looking at that tablet rather than at you and communicating with you. Yeah, I don't know about other people but if I'm out for dinner I want to get away from screens and just to have someone staring intently at an iPad trying to figure it yeah. out is... It's, you know, yeah, it's you don't relaxing. See, you don't see it so much now, not that I've seen, do you? No, I think it was a passing trend, mm, wasn't it? I think it was like, God, look how trendy we are. Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, like, I don't know about other people's, but ours were particularly glitchy. <laughs> <laughs> and you had to be under, there was some kind of, like, system and you had to stand right under one of these sensors in order for it to work. So if you were slightly <laughs> so off... you could be right off in one corner yeah. running across the dining room. Yeah, that's... <laughs> what do you want next? Yeah, can't move because my, yeah. my iPad won't work over there. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with a pen and paper. I understand maybe paperless, but then you're using electricity, aren't you? Yeah, so yeah. I don't know how much better that is, really. No, for sure. But, you know, eating out normally is super fun, but there are these things that we have to get by. Yeah, that's right. As yeah. with everything British, there's always something. Yeah. Okay, well, we hope you enjoyed watching this uh, episode. If you liked it, or if you've got anything to add, any of your experiences we'd love to hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye.